Hey everyone, my name is Moonmist, and welcome back to Eterian Odyssey 2. Alright, so we're always uh, kind of re-grinding up my levels again, so I kind of retired these guys, and now they're slightly more lower. But yeah, I'm gonna just do that once in a while. Anyway, what are we doing again? What quest? Oh yeah, the Golden Shadow. That should be to unlock the dragon. One, at least one of them, anyway. Alright, so let's see. So in order to do that, we gotta go to floor 18. Alright. Uh, I think floor 18... Would be Petal Bridge, I think. Alright, uh, let me just... Okay, good, I do have a thread. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to floor 18. Alright, just one more floor. Oh, so how's everyone doing tonight? Hope you're all doing a wonderful night. Alright. So, let's go ahead and keep going up here. Okay, I see where we need to go. We need to go that way. Which... Actually, I need to go up one, I think. Yeah, I need to go down here, okay. Almost forgot about that. Alright. Oops. Totally forgot about that. Alright. So now we should be able to go to where we need to go. Over here. Alright. Okay, there we go. Now we are here. Now we should fight whatever we need to fight. Alright. Uh, these probably shouldn't be too hard. But we'll see. Alright. Okay. You hear the ring sound clash when weapons nearby. As you near the source, you see a group of guards fighting for their lives. A horde of monster has fallen upon them. Unless you intervene, their chance to lessons are bleak. You may draw your weapons for a noble cause or leave them to die and move onward. That's pretty rude. There we go. You know, these things don't give me any experience. Alright, with slow strikes, you defeat all the monsters in the area. You turn to see the guards are about to deliver the final blow to their opponent. They sheathe their weapon and turn to greet the reinforcement. Thanks for saving us. We came to investigate this area, but we got, we got off course. We couldn't find our way home, and we lost half our men. We just had about given up once the guards calmed down to ask them about what happened here. Even though they're not sure, we saw a golden shadow and the floating island was covered in storm. Before we understood what was going on, we tossed around by the gale winds. The guard's face turns pale as he speaks, recalling the horror. What was this golden shadow? We tend to the wounded and showed them the way back before leaving the area. Your quest is complete. All you must do is report to the bar. Oh, that was fun. Alright, now specimen collection, which is... Uh, let's see, where is the specimen? Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know, we'll do that later. Okay, I need to go back to the south end of the ninth floor. Okay, so let's just go out. 
Okay. Let's just sell everything. Alright. And we'll, of course, we'll buy the thread. Buy five thread. Okay, let's go to the sickle bar and oop. I was a lot of uh, that quest here to talk to you guys. Tell me your troubles. Uh, nope, that's the same thing. Okay, yep. I'll figure that out later. All right, golden shadow. Ah, uh, yes, I heard from the Grand Duchy. Thank you very much. I heard not half those guards survived. Is the fourth sanctum that dangerous? Huh, the golden shadow. Oh yeah, I mean the ones they saw? No idea, sorry. I'm sure I heard some of uh, a monster that could destroy an entire floating island. Maybe their eyes were playing tricks on them. Anyway, thanks again, and take care. Alright. Okay, so we could do... Uh... Get this one. Ah, yeah, a lot. Should take this quest. It's slight interesting. Apparently, one of the guards on the lower levels has gone missing. They need to help find him. Don't you get a strange feeling that this is the one? I mean, without a map, it's easy to get lost. Well, we're talking about guard corps. Labyrinths like labyrinths like their own backyard. Besides, they have copies of the maps the explorers make. Strange that one get lost. Which means there's something particular going on. Get the details from the Dick's Palace. I'm expecting to hear a great story later. Alright. Greetings. Okay, so it looks like before we, get, we really need to do the birthday. Alright, so let's see. Birthday. The birthday gift. Okay, so I just need to find, I guess, decide which item we get. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna try to get do this one real quick. We need to go to the floor too. For one of them. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to floor two and see what we can get. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now that round four two we need to go to E three. I still wish that the FOEs can actually give you XP, but I don't know why they don't. Okay, E3 should be roughly around here. Nothing over here, so maybe inside? Okay, let's just defeat you real quick. Okay. Okay, so nothing so far. Maybe in here. Oh, okay. Remember the quest that you accepted from the bar? You're tasked to find a birthday present for the innkeeper's daughter. One suggestion was to receive beautiful flowers for the young girl. An excellent patch of flowers is blooming not far from you. 
You pick the flowers that sweet and aromatic in your nose. It must be the season for flowers. In your feet, given the nectar, rejoice in this bartender's fine and extract some nectar using it as a gift. Okay. So does that mean I can go to any all of them or just one? Well, we'll try to go to floor seven. Guess why not? Let's just see what happens. Okay, so floor seven should be above this right here. Yep. Okay, well we'll see if we could get more than one gift. But if not, I already made my bed with the nectar. Okay, so on floor 7, it should be at A4. Okay, so it should be right where the topmost chop section is. Uh, I forgot I didn't include patch patrol. Okay, so we're going to have to be careful. Alright. Okay, I'm not really sure whether or not because the next one should be around this area. No. I think I can only get one. Oh well, well we got what we needed I guess. So, that'll work. Okay, well. There you go. Ah, oh, following perfect timing. We're having a birthday bash for the innkeeper's daughter. Why didn't you join us? You could give the, her the present you found. Wow. It smells good. How nice. This is a great present. Thank you. Well, did you get her a nice gift? Uh, she certainly seems satisfied. Alright, let's get to business. Here's the reward for doing a nice, good job. The girl has her gift and you have your reward. Everyone's happy. Thanks for helping out. Alright, well, I guess that was easy. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Alright, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and store these two items. Okay, let's go ahead and sell. Let's go ahead and sell all of this. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I should be able to get the request from him. Ah, Explorers, I'm, I'm registered to see that you're taking the, requ the quest. You may have heard there's a violent monster in the 11th floor of the labyrinth. Guards tell me it's unusual for a monster to be on that particular floor. We determined that if there is a mother with child. Its nest is northwest of that floor. That being the case, we assume something must have disturbed the nest. It's important that we're able to coexist with the labyrinth. This cannot go unaddressed. It would be easy to slay the rampant beast, but Duke's daughter is firmly against it. Find a peaceful solution. You must first discover what is causing the monster's distress. When you conclude the investigation, report your findings back here. Remember, do not kill the monster and know that we are relying on you. A dimensional rift for immediate transport between places over oh here. Oh, hello, full moon. I was caught up in my book that I missed your arrival. You take the quest, good, then I am confident the job will be done right. We received a call uh, 
for help from a guard on the southeast part of the third floor. We dispatched reinforcements, of course, but they do not dis disappear into the labyrinth. No matter who we send, they can't seem to reach the people we need help. Everyone tries, so they get dizzy, and before long, they end up at the third floor entrance. We can't just turn our backs on the one of our own. We must keep trying. I asked you, then, to help us rescue the guard in need. We are relying on you. Alright. So... Days and distorted. Okay, doke. Ooh, we gotta go to four three. So we need to go over there and try to see what's what's going on. Okay, do uh, where are we? Okay, so we're still on floor one. Alright, almost there to floor three. Oh yeah, I just got a notification about Futurama, that reminds me. Uh, the Futurama new season is coming out on the 22nd, or 24th. So, it's getting really close. Uh, I've been waiting for it since they first announced that it was coming out. I binge watched the whole series just in preparation. And that's like what my fourth or fifth time re watching it. So that was fun. Hopefully, it relives to the old classic. Hopefully. Alright, here we go. As you walk further in, you feel a strange rift that halts your tracks. Only a moment later, you hear a distant howl. It's unlike the cry of a dog or wolf. That's piercing sound is disorienting. You lose all sense of your surrounding. With a howl stop, your head clears and you realize your surroundings have changed. The branches around you wave almost as if they were transported underwater. You think back at the quest and accept it at the bar. You are asked to save the guard who sent out a distress signal. The strange rift you experience must be the work of some sort of mysterious power. If you hope to proceed, you must take extra precautions. Alright. Okay, so we should just follow this air route. You take one slow step at a time into the eerie atmosphere. After some time, you see a silhouette of a seated figure. Perhaps it's the man you seek. Oh, at last. I've been waiting forever. I'm exhausted. Now can I finally get home? The guard lets out a sigh. I'm greatly relieved to see you. You ask if he's the one who sent out the distress signal. And the guard responds, I heard strange howl while I was on my regular patrol. Now that I got caught in a weird rift. Current explanation over, he leans on his weapon to stand and thanks you. The strange rift enveloping the area slowly stabilizes as the train returns to normal. 
But to confirm with the guard's safety, you leave the area. Alright. So that should take care of that. Go ahead and sell all the things that we don't need. Okay. Well, might as well just buy a couple more of these. Alright, there we go. Ah, you did it. A messenger from the Grand Duchess just came to deliver the news. Something about the monster's home was warping the forest. It's one eerie place which monsters like that around. Anyways, I'm glad to have you back. Here's a reward. Care to make a donation? Come back anytime. Alright. Oh. Okay, next, Ethical Dilemma. Ah, that's one of the same girl as always, your friend at the sloth trading. I don't know the details, but she seems to be in a bite. I suggest you go see her as soon as possible. She looked mighty frazzed. Help her, and why don't ya? And, um, um, well, take this one. I need to take that one since I'm the client. You remember the quest you got with going where the noble wants the queen piece? I told you before, but it won't be easy to come across. Many nobles collect master craftsman stuff and they won't part with it nothing, but they might just trade it to you for a piece they don't have. Now, to tell the truth, I myself has one of those chess pieces. A man once was here, he paid with this piece instead of money. It's the only one I have, but it doesn't seem interest doesn't interest me that much. And I know you need it, so I can't hide that in other way. I'll swap it for a few things from the labyrinth. Here's what I need. Blood rock, red pine, and tri fruit. Bring me back all that and I'll fork over my piece. Alright, so we could do that I guess, but first we'll Go, uh, was the trading, right? Welcome. Oh, Fleming, did you come about the quest? I'm not sure if I should be asking you to do this. I mean, you're already working so hard to climb the Sidro and find that floating castle, but I need you to defeat some monsters for me, and I can't ask you to do it. I'm sorry. You don't have to take the job. Just go back to the bar and tell Cass that I said it was okay to take the reward. Really? Uh, okay. Now what happened? Did you meet up with the girl? What, the job's over before it started? What the devil's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know if the client says so. I suppose it's alright. But I think you better have another try asking her. Don't you agree? Might be easier to talk to her if you go in at night. When she's got a few customers, it's up to you. Okay, yeah, we could do that. So we'll take a nap. We'll take a little good nap. Alright. Oh, well, the job, but didn't you take the reward? Well, why not? Oh, okay, but please don't do the job if you don't want to, okay? I heard some explorers who came to the shop. Um, no, I can't. I just can't ask you to do this. It's okay, really. I'm sorry about this. Thanks for trying to help. Really? So she really does not want us to do the job, huh? Hey, so she still doesn't want to do the job. Uh, what's wrong? She said, what? Don't you know how to stand up to a wee little girl? Just because she said that's okay doesn't mean it is okay. You gotta pry it out of her no matter what she says. Here, try this. I hope you know she has dinner at Nine in the evening. That's your chance. Head to the central city to find her. Nine in the evening. Got it? Alright, we'll just go ahead and kill some time in the labyrinth, I guess. Uh, I guess I can go and do some grinding for two, three in game hours. Okay, so we'll just do some grinding around here. Oh, I think here, I usually do a little grinding around here, so should be not that much. Alright, so let's just, just wait until 9 p.m. Uh, 
Okay. Ba 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 ba. All right, guys. It's only seven p.m. Eight p.m. One more in-game hour. Okay, just a one in game half hour, probably. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go, 9 p.m. Oh, hi everyone, what brings you here? Oh, hello there, speak of the devil. It's been a while, how are you? Hmm? The girl, I tried to talk to her since she didn't look well, but she's was preoccupied. It sounds like she has something to do with you. Is there anything I can help? I'm just telling her that how much you could be trusted. Alright, I made up my mind. I have a request for you. Did you hear me out? Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Um, I heard this from an explorer who was in the shop not too long ago. His guild defeated a monster in the northwest part of the 19th floor. It was attacked first. It attacked first, then had no choice but to kill it. But his child was left behind. I know the monsters are in pain for explorers like you, so it might be strange for me to ask, but ever since I heard the story, I've been worried sick about the monster child. Could you please do something so it don't, didn't die? I don't know what monsters like to eat, so I brought some food that I might eat. Please save the baby monster, I'm begging you. Okay, so we're gonna give it bird seed. Okay, we can do that. Alright, so we gotta go to 19. We got to go down two floors. Oh yeah, these things have really insane defense. Things take forever to defeat. Alright, so I just need to go down one more layer. Oh, it's gonna be in that. Okay. Alright, so it's gonna be in that weird, funky place. Alright, so it's gonna be near A1, so it's gonna be at the very top. Alright, so I think I can. Where do I go again? Okay, yeah, okay, I see. Okay, well, there's two spots in each one that I can... That might be... Okay. Okay, we're in A1. There you go. You feel strange presence and crouch down. There's a small lump in the grass. You investigate to find a small bird wrapped in fur. The bird remains still, looking at you with its dark, beady eyes. You think back to the quest you accepted from Abigail. You swore to feed the baby monster that had been orphaned in the labyrinth. And this must be the same monster child the girl referred to. But the bird is a monster at heart, and you eventually grow up to attack you or others. You wonder if its benefits being merciful are worth the risk involved. Um, yeah. As you offer the food to the little bird, it eagerly swallows without moment of hesitation. Though this is a monster that may eventually be your enemy, you are sworn showing mercy for now. You recall Abigail's face as you need to help and decide it may have been worthwhile. The bird finishes its meal and seems to regain some of its energy. You leave the reminder of food nearby so as not to leave it in danger of starvation. Touched by the bird's innocence, Lemus feels at peace after helping it survive. Okay, cool. We got 10 TP because of that. Didn't really need it, but that's fine. Alright. Uh... 
No, I didn't. I, I did it. I'm welcome. Uh, yep, yep. Okay, so you're not gonna... Okay. Well then, I did it. I gave it the food and we completed the quest. Ah, you're back. I heard the story of a baby monster. Yeah, are you okay with this? There are so many monsters in the lamp with already. If a girl is up to be dangerous, you all should... You'll have to shoulder that responsibility. Well, all I have to say on the matter, just remember, your actions have consequences. Oh, and here's your reward. Just make sure the bestie isn't, yeah, fed doesn't eat you a lot for second course. It might, or it might not. I don't know. Ah, right, here comes the Sloth Trading Guild. The old man's got plans for a new weapon. You guessed it, he needs materials. Uh, what's that sound? Oh, what the devil's going on? Outside, and quick. Hurry. Hurry and get those fires out. You need more manpower. Recruit the other guilds. You, form a team and get the civilians at the Duke's Palace, and someone get a medic. Full Moon, you are okay. What happened? The city's been under attack. This area has been relatively intact, but... The west side's in bad shape. There has been reports of a beast, howl, and morty forked lightning raining down the city. Some say they saw a golden shadow in the sun, in the sky, but no one knows what really happened. Are you alright? A few of us here in the center city were hurt. The casualties are heavier in the west. I'm relieved to see you escaped unharmed. It's good to have people to rely on in a crisis. I'll let us help. Thank you, we could use your help. I think we have repairs well in hand here, fortunately. I had a different task for you in mind. Uh, you can handle it, right? There's little doubt in anyone's mind that this work is not that monster. I want you to confirm the cause of this disaster. Without knowing the situation, we cannot be sure the worst is over. The monster may return. Knowledge is the key to victory. We take action according to the information you gather. And move out. We're counting on you. All right. I just sell the stuff that we don't need. And how many? I got two more. That should be fine for now. Go ahead and store some items. There we go. And we'll go to sleep. Alright, so, what do I need to do? Uh, it's an emergency investigate a monster that attacked the city. But where am I supposed to investigate? No. Am I supposed to ask people around? Oh, it's true, there was another thing. Oh, nope, okay, that's kind of not very helpful. Uh, two, there's a hidden fortress stamp, okay. Not very helpful. Where am I supposed to go? I wonder when you're here, back in the 11th, I see, okay, that's pretty much all the same dialogue. Uh, unless I need to accept another. Hmm. Uh, let's just give up on that one for now. I think I need to take this one. Ah, you're right. The disaster at the hospital is full of both the wounded. You're looking to find which monster did this, right? You can't let this stand. Let's hurry and find that thing and pay it back to kind. If it weren't, I would come here. Here to say, though. I got a job for you. I don't know who requested it, but it's addressed directly to you. The letter comes during the night. I don't know the details, but someone needs your help. I never saw hide or hair from them, but they left a reward for you. Polite phantoms, say eh? Obviously, they're the only, they're the only girl that can ask you to do this. I'm counting on you. 
The letter concludes, I wait in the holy city on the 20th floor. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we pretty much get so. That's uh, the 20th floor. Okay, so I need to go down one. Okay, so it should be somewhere around here. Uh, ba -ba. Oh, there we go. Ah, full moon, welcome. I may you receive the blessing of the all knowing doll, Father Isha and Mother Isha. Please stay and make yourselves home. We are a bit shaken at the present, paying no mind. Kalavine is running amok and has damaged the vault holding our most sacred treasure. It's a severe problem. Over half of the treasure are unrecoverable. But for now, the reason have you come. We've always willing to help those that we consider family. Uh, Lingard was also attacked. This is a tragedy. There's no question that it's the work of Clan of Valen. We cannot read its flow of a vicious Clan of Valen. Rampage has claimed your city and our vault. Since we have both been victims of this misfortune, it may be best to cooperate. So, who's the Kavalan? A golden reptile that lived here for e eons. It soars across the skies in wielding lightning. It's sometimes known as the dragon who walks with thunder. We have never beheld it with our own eyes before. We could not have gazed at its size. Now created everything for a purpose, but what purpose could this that be serve? Well, we accepted a quest. A quest? A request from one of your own? What of it? You say the request came from one of us? Strange. It is our way to make every attempt at solving problem our own before seeking help. However, the teaching also warns against refusing help when offered. Can you prove that we asked? Uh, well, I got this letter. Now it's clear, I recognize this as the writing of some children from our village. They have asked you assistance, and thus have come. It must be through the flow of Isha. I am paralyzed to resist his will, grateful moon. Please help us. We are doing everything we can to move what treasure remains out of the vault. The treasure vault is currently on the verge of collapse after Calavine's rampage. Would you go to the vault in the west and return with as many treasures as you can carry? I've been... it has been severely damaged already. It won't be long before it collapses entirely. The relics are old and easily breakable if you fall in battle. They will be lost. Please save as many treasures as you can. Be grateful for your help. Okay, so it's going to be at the west. Like this west? Or like how west are we talking about? I don't know. Right, let's just, uh, I guess we all look for the stuff. Mm. Well, here it says 421. Okay. And I need to go to D1. As you walk the castle, you hear a strange noise. As you look up at a class with your weapon hand further down, you see two winged ones crossing over the pillars and vanishing between the walls. You follow them until you cross a heap damaged wall. This must be related to the quest you accepted from the winged ones. You agreed to help the transport the ancient treasure back to the village. The roof is already cracked in the state, and it may crumble at any moment. The winged ones saw you before, lying back into view, carrying something as they leave. 
You heed into the vault, pick out the most important looking treasures, and quickly leave. Okay, so I guess we have to fight this thing first. Okay, let's do dampen bravery. Yeah, fragility. There we go. Alright. Oops. Uh, gonna have to defeat these. Actually, lowered their defense. Okay, so we got one of the treasures. Ah, oh, family, you brought back some very important treasure. I admit I wasn't expecting such superb work from the Earthbound ones. If the vault is not yet collapsed, we ask you to retrieve more treasures. Alright, time to get more treasure. The swing them down. We turn to the treasure vault to find the wall has been given to cave in. It's only a matter of time before the entire structure implodes. You quickly run in, gather what you can, and make your way out. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, of course, it has to be the lemon cores again. All right, uh, not lemon core, but the this the golden gel I see you return for me. Ah, you brought back the documents. The... But there is one last favor we must ask. At the very back of the vault is a box. If you can manage to bring that safe, we could ask nothing more of you. Thank you. Alright, uh, here we go again. Okay, since we don't have anything, we could just escape these ones. By the time you reach the vault for the third time, the wall around you are groaning. Taking extra caution not to disturb anything, you set foot inside and cast your gaze around. You see a box, but at the same moment, Maya calls out, noticing a figure on the ground. Earth ones, you must recover the box. Do not spare any thought for me. Quickly, get the box. The waiting one lights on conscience. He seems to be stuck under fallen debris. Even with the ceiling is making terrible noise, you are no longer safe to be here. You can heed the words request and save the box or tend to the wounded one instead. <sighs> Carry the box. Thinking that it's best to watch the wounded ones, we should take the box and evacuate the moment you exit the wall finally collapsed. 
The winged ones are certainly dead. You are not certain you did the right thing, but you must return safely with the box. I am sorry, other winged one. I am so sorry. But your boss wanted this box. Hopefully I made the right decision. Alright, there we go. Okay. So good news and bad news. We got the box, but one of your one of your own died. You're in, hmm, you were unable to save one of our own? I see. And I thank you on his behalf. Our values are perhaps different than your own. A single life means little in wait, a single life means little in the flow of Isha. A large larger portion of things is all. In doing your duty you saved him. Now no Father Isha and Mother Isha will stay with us. You cast aside a sentiment and follow the will of Isha. It is rare for that is rare in earthbound ones. We will thank you for what we may consider worth the compensation. I must tend to our wound and inspect the treasure. Perhaps later we can. Ah, don't you usually report after you finish a quest? Why don't you return here once you have reported? We have something for you then. Okay. Uh, oh. Alright, so I did it. Ah, you're back. I got another letter from you here. It's the same hand as before. Let's be the client, and thanks for your efforts. Oh, out with it. Who was this client anyways? Come on, you know I'm curious. You did the job without knowing who it was. Ugh, wipe that bloody grin off your face. Fine, forget it. But if you want to talk about later, I won't be listening. Take a row and get out. Okay, can I do that one now? Alright, so now can I do the item? Er, uh, not yet. I don't know. Alright. So, the only ones want us to go back, so we could do that. So... And, nope. Okay. Well, let's just sell the stuff that we don't need. And let's just buy a few more threads just to be safe. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's store the Soma. And we'll go to sleep. Okay. And we need to go back. Alright, we're back. Ah. Oh, man. I'm sorry to have troubled you on our part of work. In the name of Father Isha and Mother Ishaya, I welcome you. Now then, you're investigating Calvine, aren't you? Hmm. Uh, you must excuse me. Calvine is our word for it. Among the earthbound one, the golden monster is known simply as Dragon. And his true character is unknown, but if it has attacked, it must have been the act of God. But if you plan to oppose it, such is the will of Isha. I shall tell you what I know. The documents you carried not long ago happened to contain a legend regarding Calvine. Take this, it may help you investigate the monster that attacked your town. They may be limited use, but they should contain enough information to aid your task. It is written that the one who appears with uh, Thunder Howls 
with rage on the heavenly sea. The legend says that now it is a season when the beast's wrath waxes and will not end soon. You must act quickly to quell its rage. If you defeat it, then move swiftly. Ah, uh, cool. I guess I can go back now. Uh, do I report? Okay, yep. Oh, you're back. I heard the story. Yeah, I found that fiend who attacked your city. The reconstruction movement along, but I hate to think it could strike again any time. What's this dirty old book from the Winged One? That's what it has to do with this monster? Uh, you know, the old things like this from the Winged Ones could fetch a tifty profit. Don't sell it. No, no, I understand. I gotta take this to the Grand Duchy, right? I won't. Get greedy when the fate of the city is at stake. Here's your reward. Something else came up. We'll be counting on you. Alright. So, next one. I guess we could do the Sleeping Duke. Ah, you're here. How's it goes? Everything okay? That quest is from the Grand Duchy. Worth taking, if you ask me. Uh, why don't you, they make it an official mission? Huh, your sense is fair play is Ted over the developed look. If they issue an official mission, it is to open an invitation to all explorers. Imagine you open up every job to every guild. There's nothing left for you lot. So some texts are patched, parceled out to folks like me, so we can choose who gets the job done. When they want the job done, this is how they do it. Else, it's a bloody free-for-all. So it should be smooth sailing for you. Hurry to Duke's Palace and get the details. Good luck. Ah, how may I assist you explore today? Come for the quest, have you? I see. It is in my mind to know that you've taken it. You haven't been in Langard for long, so perhaps you don't know of the Ice Duke. It is the Highlanger's legendary heroes. One wiser rulers as well. It's named a village from his icy calm snow white complexion a rather frigid bearing he was a grandmaster at using whips some called him white ivy of lingard day or so was discovered a secret vault containing many ancient documents from these records we have recorded some new information regarding the ice duke guarded by the forest the ice duke sleeps amidst internal snow under the blue reptile glaze these are words. What do you make of this? No matter how often I read it, I can't think of nothing more than ancient forests to save Langrel. It will be that the Ice Dew's grave lies within the mysterious forest. Could you enter the forest and grant locate the grave of the Ice Duke? Eh, reading further, it seems the way there is hidden in the 14th floor. I expect a favorable results. May luck be with you. Okay. We go to four fourteen. Well, the best path would probably go from Petal Bridge and down. Okay. Okay, twelve twenty five. All right, now that I'm in uh fourteen, so there should be a secret passageway somewhere around here. According to this, there should be an E6. Alright. Alright, let's defeat this one real quick. Here we go.
Oh, it's those gel things. These gel things always take forever to beat. Mm -hmm. Ah, these gel things are really annoying. Okay, so there should be a secret passage around here somewhere. Unless it's on the other side. Which... I think it... Yeah, I think it... Yeah, it's gonna be the other side, not this side. Okay. <sighs> As you proceed into the frozen ground, you stop seeing something moved in the distance. A human like silhouette melts into the snowy Inveros, upon realizing your presence, you trudge closer, but the gust of wind blows through the silhouette and disappears. You squint, wondering if you saw was true, but nothing was there. What could it have been? Well, who knows? Hmm. Okay, yep, I can go back and forth. Alright, new area. Okay, so we got two locations that we can go to. Okay, that just leads to an item. So hopefully the other area should not be a dead end. Ah, oh, these blue gels are really annoying. Here we go. <sighs> oh, that's a uh, quite the number. Okay, well, got bar sliding.
Uh, I'm getting tired of these blue gels. Paste pin. Okay. Oop, all right. I can go down here. It's been really hot the past couple of days. I really don't like the heat. There you go, something I can actually defeat. A neck doll, cool. Ah, oh, so many gels. Okay, so I found the stairs to go down. I didn't finish mapping this area though. Okay, dead end. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, 
パーパーパーパーオッケー There we go, that should be everything. See how long this, how far these takes me. Oops. There you go. Hopefully, there is no gels on this floor. Okay, that's a dead end. Wait, is this an FOE? Oh wow, it is. There we go. An ice fiend. Uh, uh, oh, ice fiend again. Interesting that it's not weak against fire. Hmm. There we go. Evil Rock. <sighs> oh, that's what this thing goes to. Interesting. I know that was an entrance. You follow the hidden path until at last you come across an end. There you face the door from which in, in emanates frigid air, chilling you to the bone. You may proceed beyond the door or explore elsewhere. Uh, it's just... Okay, so I don't think I can do anything else. Let's do a quick save. Alright, uh, okay. Five, let's see. Finish off sounds. Mm. Mm, what else would be good? I guess regen all would probably be good. 
five points. Uh, yeah, I can. I won't be able to get that. But I think I can get ice wall. Uh, I won't get absorbed until nine. Dang. Okay, not just this lady. Okay, here's one item. Evil arm, which I think I already have. And Soma. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's nothing over here. Interesting. Um, find that Ice Duke's grave. Uh, where would it be? Up oh, there it is. You walk to the freezing path and enter the side from the room. The footprint you. You leave in the snow. Reveal that you stand on a sturdy stone on the floor. You see a faint but unmistakable sign of the High Lingard crest engraved into the ground. This can only be the Ice Duke's grave. You came to find, as in solve in your discovery, you find something at your feet. You pick up and see a white auditorium. To have lived this long in such cold surroundings was it planted here deliberately? It may have served proof that you have uncovered the grave. You stow it in your bag. When you return to the guard, you should report back to success. Alright, cool. Okay, now I'll go back. Alright, I did it. Ah, you're back. So, did you find the so-called Ice Duke? What? You weren't looking for him? Well, that's no fun. The nation's crest, huh? Wait, does that mean our ruler, rulers in those days went into the labyrinth? Now that's intriguing. Hmm, what's with this flyer? Why did I want to need that? The Grand Duchy will send a team to the coordinates you gave to verify it. And tell them you, what you found. Here's the reward. Come back anytime. Alright. Oh, that one. You know the innkeeper's daughter, right? Ah, uh, Gran, save me the trouble of explaining then. She's frail, you see, and has trouble breathing. She gets by okay, since the dog from the hospital looks after her clothes. But it's important to see that she goes into the library up too often to take some fresh air. The Gran Duchy's quite good at providing her with an escort whenever she needed one, but there's some scheduling mishaps this time, and no one else can take her inside. So her job is basically to help escort the girl. Her destination is the northern 14th floor. The girl is waiting in Central City. Well, good luck. Oh, Full Moon, hello. Um, the people of Raymond are taking me? I'm so happy to hear that, thank you. Um, you're a strong guild, aren't you? You won't lose to any ghosts. Um, I think we can. Oh, that's good. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I'll follow close behind you. Please take care of me. Alright, let's sell the stuff that we don't need. There we go. Angel robe. Would that be better or worse? Ooh, I think that might be for medic. Oh, yeah, that's definitely for medic. There we go. 
Now she's got the final gear. So all that's left for final it would be my Hexer and my Torbador. That's the only ones that I need for the final armor. Okay, well, let's sell the old stuff. And I don't think I need an evil arm. And a haste pen, I just put that in the in storage. There we go. Oh, we should probably take a quick sleep. Alright, so we need to go to floor 14. Which... I think it's... Underneath the... Yeah, just two more levels down. You check if everything's safe and then turn around. You, 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 you're charging the innkeeper's door and is trying hard to keep up with you. If you were to be badly injured, it would be pain the, pain the girl greatly. Unfortunately, the monsters in the forest seem unusually active. There's no telling what to expect here. Proceed with great caution. Okay, well, looks like... The bosses are here back. I'd rather not fight the boss right now since I have the girl with me. So we'll take the long route instead. We'll do the long road. Uh, here we go, frozen grapple. Yeah, we'll take the long road. So I don't want to get the girl in danger. What time is it? Uh, 12.40. Alright. So maybe after this quest, I'm probably going to call it a night. <laughs> All right, almost to floor thirteen. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, I need to go this way. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, now we're on floor 14. Alright, so what I need to go, it looks like it's going to be at E3, so it's going to be at the very top. Alright, I could do that. Okay, it should be roughly around here. There we go. As you enter the room, you're greeted with a fresh breeze. The air here is almost as sincere 
serene you have felt in the labyrinth. You feel completely purified. Looking back at the girl, it is clearer that she feels the same way. Spreading her arms wide, she breathes a deep, fresh air. And you spend some time with the girl in the drain cold clearing prepare before you prepare to go home. This was fun. I wish you could be the one to escort me every time. You know the slight embarrassment that the girl has made. A flower pin from the white clovers. I made it for good luck. I think you should have it. The flower pin she gives you is a charm to ensure safe dreams. Searching for something to give in return, you rummage through your bag and find the auditorium. You give her the flower and she thinks you happily before using her Arthurian thread. The quest is complete. You report your quest to the bar when you return. Alright, we'll use our own thread as well. Alright, well, we did it. Ah, you're back. Good work. Seems like everything went well. The girl's safe at home and her mother came to thank you. All well, all well that ends well, huh? Well, that one's wrapped up with one bow. Here's your reward. Come back anytime. And erasing the pain will be for tomorrow's mission. So I'm going to be ending on the stream here. Oh, I think she, No, the game came returning. She's not doing well. Oops, excuse me. She needs some medicine, but they don't have the materials to make any. I reach to the hospital to get to the good story. Uh, sure, let's just do that real quick. Oh, can I help you? Hello, you're the one who brought the quest, right? Thanks again. No one has taken it, and we were ready. The keeper's daughter has had a weakened constitution since birth. Oh yes, you escorted her before, so you should already know. Oh, don't worry. Her life isn't in danger, but she's in pain. We can't let her be like this. It's easily treatable, but we don't have materials for the messiness we need. We need you to go to the labyrinth to gather necessary materials. We need two black core... Two shiny rocks and four life honeys. When you gather enough, please come back here and we'll synthesize the medicine. We're counting on you. Alright, and with that, we will continue tomorrow. So, until next time, I am Mist and I'll see you again tomorrow. And thank you for watching. I do appreciate every single one that has been watching. Alright, have a good night. Bye.